So, I mean, first of all, I think New Zealand have got a really good all-round team. So they've got, you know, really good pace bowlers. So they've got, you know, people like Saudi, Astor, um, Trent Bolt um, with with a pace attack. And then they've got variety in the spin because they've got people like Santner um, who can bowl really well in those conditions in the UAE. But to top that off, they've got really good batsmen as well. So you've got Guptill and Williamson both with averages of over 30. And I think Conway's got a ridiculous average of about 60 or something. Um, they've got a really good wicketkeeper in Tom Latham, who can also bat really well as well. Um, so, I mean, first of all, they've got a really sort of decent team. But then you can also see, I suppose, historically that they've got pedigree in terms of all of these competitions. They reached the Cricket World Cup final like twice, 2015 and 19. They've been semi-finalists twice as well. They've got to the semi-finals of the T20 World Cup twice. Um, and they're actually, I think they're, they've sort of demonstrated this recently when they beat India in the final as well, that they're up for the fight, um, that, um, that they can sort of, you know, do their stuff against you know the biggest opponents the ones with the most resources it doesn't really matter because they perform well on the day so i think for that reason i've got i think they've got a really good chance of doing well in the t20 world cup to really adapt to the new conditions in the uae and you know have a really good chance of reaching the final at least i'd say very strong argument. Um, I'm, I'm going to start. Actually, I want to start with some of the questions in the chat, and then I'll go to the rest of you guys. Micro Game was saying he was going to choke versus spin. Is there a little bit of a, uh, I guess, a little bit of a concern about how the batsmen are going to play spin in the UAE, considering like up till, <laughs> I mean, for example, I, I saw him in the. Uh, well, it wasn't the UAE actually? It was. Was it in the UAE? It was actually last year in the PSL. This year even in the PSL was yeah. Mm -hmm. um, he struggled a huge amount, um, and obviously he's mm. one of their key players at the top. Conway, my boy, as I should know, is mm. when I say that. Um, I, I'm assuming he'll be okay, to be fair, because he's quite, yeah. quite a traditional game, but um, uh -huh. Guptill has struggled at times. Uh, and also, obviously, you've got other players coming through, like Glenn Phillips, etc., as well, um, mm -hmm. who will be quite crucial. What do you think? I mean, is that going to be a sticking point for them? Uh, could that be an issue? So I, I think it's a fair point. There are people who can play, you know, spin well in the team and people who can play spin less well. But I think that's sort of true of most teams, actually. And I suppose the good thing is, you know, T20s, like all, all the other formats, you can rotate the strike. So Williamson, for instance, is really great at playing spin. Um, Conway is pretty good at playing spin. So whilst, you know, Guptill might not be that great, um, I think that so long as we rotate the strike, and make sure that we get at least, you know, singles where we can't score big runs, then I think we should be fine. Um, obviously, if you've come across the teams like Afghanistan, who've got five spinners, that becomes a bit more difficult. But in most cases, I think people are going to have a balance between spin and other forms of attack. Um, and so I wouldn't, I wouldn't be too concerned about, you know, New Zealand's ability to play spin no more than I'd be concerned about, say, England's or Australia's ability to play spin. Mm, interesting. Guys, what, what do you think? Who's got questions? Oh, I have a burning one, to mm. be quite <laughs> honest, and it is about a certain player with a 159 career T20i strike rate. <laughs> Vivek, why is Colin de Grandom not in the Black Caps team? Oh, that's, that's a tough one. I, I think... I think so. I think I think that he he would probably have made a good addition because I mean you know bowling he's really good, batting he's really good as well. Um, but at the same time, they've got they do have quite a bit of strength and depth. So I think all the other players are have got you know the credentials to be in the team. They're really good at what they do. Um, and I think it was just unlucky that Colin de Grand Hon didn't make it. But if he did, you know he'd be really great addition to the team and you know would would help help us towards the cause of winning the T20 World Cup but I think you know whoever's going to come into the into the final 11 they're going to be really good anyway so I wouldn't be too worried I love Definitely. how we're adopting us into uh in, into all the conversations go on, go on, I know we're, we're all Kiwis <laughs> yeah we are we all are in heart after 2019 but I have uh, some rather damning stats Vivek how many T20 World Cup games has Colin de Grandon played? Hmm. 
Don't know, man. Tell me. Zero. <laughs> How many T20 World Cups have New Zealand won? Zero. Exactly. Do you not think there's a correlation? <laughs> Maybe, but I mean, Colin de Grandhom, I suppose, isn't that old. So, I mean, New Zealand, New Zealand have been doing, I suppose, well in championship championships like for quite a long time they've just been unlucky and they haven't you know been able to get the win under their belt i mean to be fair they did win the champions trophy against india in the early 2000s so they they do have the capacity to win um mm-hmm. okay and i think you know i think i think they're going to pull out the bag this year man i think they're going to do it interesting they do i mean they do have uh jimmy nisham and also is darren mitchell on the squad he is, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, <laughs> yeah, he's, he he's done really well recently. So, oh, interesting. Cricket. Ashtar is just, he's like, Nisham is <laughs> better than Colin de Grando. He's trying to trigger Aaron. Um, Ooh. I've got some interesting <laughs> stuff here. The Magic Gamer says can't judge Conway yet because he hasn't played in Asia. Interesting. And the T20s, Death Overs, having Southie and Bottles are luxury as both are, as both are power play bowlers. Bowl can bowl a little bit of the Death. I don't have a stat for no, him, he, to be fair. He bowls pretty pretty good Yorkers, doesn't he? In the death They've got Ferguson, well. though, who will bowl the death, obviously. He'll bowl in the middle Ferguson of the death, really. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. that's what they'll do. Uh-huh. Um, Kane probably is the best versus spin. He's quality, isn't he? Love myself mm. some Glenn Phillips, says Reno. And uh, Ray says, New Zealand need Tim Seifert to file. They'll struggle to come out of the group. Very passionate in caps. Um, yeah, maybe. Maybe. Might be right. Gabe, thanks for joining. Says, where's the defending West Indies on the poll for YouTube? <laughs> Disrespectful. Uh, I haven't actually had a look at the poll. I'll have a look in a second to see what um, what people are saying. But the, it, it's other, Gabe. So you can put it You can put it here. I was struggling. I was like, do I put West Indies? Uh, it only gives you four options in YouTube. So I, was, I wanted to put all of them, but it only has four. So I put New Zealand, India, England, and then other. So I just thought those are the three most likely. But, you know. She was dropping them out of that. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, fair enough, fair enough. Um, Race's best ball for New Zealand for UAE will be Ish Sodi and Ferguson. Um, yeah, interesting, very interesting. Uh, okay, let's. Fin- Does anyone have any other questions for Vivek? Yeah, gone, just a quick one. I'm oh, sorry. I've gone out yeah. and you go first. Um, just a quick one. Sorry. Um, yeah, so Vivek, you said New Zealand made a few finals, but um, you know they never won any of it. Um, so... <laughs> oh God. <laughs> so what makes you think oh, wow. you know, <laughs> What makes you think it'll be different? Well, I mean, I suppose if if we look at England as well, like before the like Cricket World Cup, like and the T Twenty World Cup, which were actually quite recent, they hadn't actually won that much previously. I'm not sure, but they maybe maybe didn't actually win anything at all. Um, they reached a bunch of finals in like the nineteen uh, in late eighties, nineties, and stuff like that, but they didn't win anything. But suddenly they had a decent team. They clicked. They won a couple of trophies and now they're on a roll. And I think that can happen to anyone, including New Zealand. Okay. Okay. Go on, Benny. So um, any um, you know, any first game for any team is a big one um, in a tournament. And New mm-hmm. Zealand are up against Pakistan in three weeks' time mm-hmm. in Sharjah. Mm-hmm. Um, do you think New Zealand pulling out of the Pakistan <laughs> series is going to hinder them? Because Pakistan will be, they'll, they'll be up, you know, they'll be, they'll have some fire in their belly, I'll tell you. I think that's a fair point, actually, because like Pakistan tend to do really well in like tournaments, because like they they tend to like get themselves up for it. Um, and, you know, whilst, whilst they might not sort of play as well in like, you know, the traditional like series, like tests, ODIs, T20s, they really like, G themselves up for the tournaments so I think they always always have a really good chance of doing well um, and yeah you're right I, I don't think they'd be that happy at all about New Zealand pulling out or for that matter England pulling out so I think both sides better watch out for them mm, okay alright okay fighting talk fighting talk anyone else got any last uh, questions for Vivek no Right, cool. Let's go on to the uh, the next person. Oh, that's, that's quite an interesting one, actually, New Zealand. I do, uh, yeah. I was back in New Zealand for the World Cup. Now I'm not. No, I'm joking. I already ha- already said it before. Bloody hell. Why did you do this to me, Kiwis? Why? Right, okay, let's spin the wheel. <laughs> next. 